Hi everybody, this is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota. It's too below. Oh man, it's chilly. Yeah, I wish I was down south where a lot of people are that you can uh, grow things. I gotta sit here and wait till spring, but I got something exciting I want to show you. I've been thinking about this for a long time and I want to show it to you today. Uh, for a long time, I've thought about different various hybrid methods, uh, the change, the rain gutter growth system and things, and and uh, I got my uh, my stepson is a pastor in Jamestown, North Dakota. His uh, He's really into missionary work, and we, we've talked a lot about the rain gutter growth system, using it, and you, I think he goes to Uganda and different places. But we were trying to come up with a real simple, easy method to uh, to do that. And one thing I've always thought about, because he says it gets extremely hot in the summer there and, and uh, water usage is a problem. And I have always thought about maybe using a four inch sewer pipe and burying it in the ground. Over there, of course, would be in the sand. And then what you do is put a bucket or a, and drill a hole in it, two and seven eighths inch hole, just like you would in the bottom of the regular buckets. And, and drill that in the pipe so that, that way you can insert it and everything is submerged and you don't say you would bury the pipe with uh, the level of the ground would be one way you could do it what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, a, uh, a my couple I have a couple uh, garden areas uh, that are about 15 by 25 and I'm going to I'm going to do exactly that I'm going to bury four inch sewer pipe in the ground so it's level with the top of the ground it'll have two and seven eighths inch holes drilled so I can put the net cups through from either the buckets or I'll be using a lot of grow bags I want to try too. But what I'll do is I'll lay out some plastic sheeting on top that uh, four inch sewer pipe so that the bags that are setting on it or bucket won't wick back into the ground and any water will just run off. And about a Oh, it's been about two weeks ago. I had a nice conversation with a good friend of mine, Brad Quaver in Arizona. And Brad has built a rain gutter system, three of them. Um, when, way back when I first started, he was one of the first ones to, to do it. And um, I called him two weeks ago, and we had a heck of a conversation for an hour or so. And we talked about this, and, and he thought about different ideas on this too. And to my surprise, we'd kicked around this idea and talked about different various methods of either doing it in the ground or making a platform for it. And Brad sent me some fantastic uh, uh, drawings. He did a PDF file, which I will post underneath this video. Just click on the Show More button, and you'll see all the links, and you can click on that. And this is just another hybrid version of the, well, you could say the rain gutter growth system minus the rain gutter. But I'm excited to try this because I, I like trying new things. That's half the fun of gardening is doing different. And you can hook this up either to uh, your garden hose or uh, Brad's got on here drawing how he hook, he hooks his to his, rain, uh, his uh, water collection system. He's got some rain barrels that he collects water in. But he's got some really neat pictures on it. And uh, you can see in this one, uh, all the rain, here's where we got four inch pipe grow system, okay? And he's got a rain barrel or a garden hose either, and then the float bucket. Well, everything has to be level, which is pretty easy, level that all out. And we got to manifold it all together, okay? And then what we do is you only need one float in the float bucket. And what's neat, if you ever want to add any uh, liquid uh, fertilizer or anything, you add it right there and it will feed it uh, into all of them. And he can, you can use grow bags or five-gallon buckets. That's just the one, one thing he's got here. He has uh, also, uh, he's got, you know, and uh, you can't probably see it real great on here, but he's got, he has done a ton of work on this. And where to get the parts, different ways, at least putting his system together here that he's, you know, come up with. 
and the prices and the, you know did some awesome drawings anyway like I said I got the whole PDF file which you'll be able to see a lot better when you download it below here um, he's got let's see here's the converter four inch pipe um, and he shows by I mean he, he he put a lot of work in this thing here he's got where he took slices of a five gallon bucket and used it for uh, this would be an above, above ground where it would set what we were talking about uh, me and him the other day is you could take these little slices because it would be the same size as the five gallon bucket just cut a slit in the side that way you could bring it in on itself a little bit and then it would set right on the inner groove of that five gallon bucket and then you could cut places for the pipe to go through the support and uh, great idea he also has got this setup and this is really neat where he actually supports with some little cross members uh, a uh, four inch sewer pipe and you could set it down and that would work that way too uh, so, you know, it's just some really, really neat ideas I wanted to share with you people. Um, so, download the PDF file and take a look at it and uh, see what you think. Okay? This is Larry at Brainerd, Minnesota. Ciao.